welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this romper because I've had so many requests for a romper tutorial. And I've also made this exact same style with pants, so if you're looking for a jumpsuit tutorial, it would totally work for that as well. I really hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more sewing tutorials. And what are we waiting for? Let's get sewing! To make this romper, you'll need at least one and a half yards of a stretch knit fabric, enough quarter inch wide elastic to wrap around your waist, a two and a half inch piece of eighth inch wide elastic for the button closure, and a button with a loop on the back. You'll also need a basic tank top and a pair of shorts to use as templates. Start by finding the point where the top edge of the shorts hits the tank top and mark it with a safety pin. Fold the portion below the pin up out of the way, then fold the top in half down the center. Fold a portion of fabric over, making sure it can stretch in the direction the arrows are going so the romper will stretch around you once it's done, and pin the tank top onto the fold of the fabric. If it has a high neckline, fold it down to make it lower. Cut a half inch larger than the neckline, shoulder, armhole, and side to add hem and seam allowance, and one and a half inches lower than the bottom to add room for the elastic waist. Remove the tank top, make sure the neckline is cut in a rounded shape, and when you unfold the fabric, you'll have the front bodice piece cut out. To make the back, fold the front in half and fold another portion of fabric over. Lay the front piece down so it's a half inch away from the fold of the fabric and pin it down. Cut the neckline a few inches higher, then cut right along the rest of the front piece before setting the front aside. Cut along the center fold of the back piece to divide it into two separate pieces which you'll lay with the correct sides facing together. Begin pinning starting at the bottom edge, and to make the slit in the back, which makes the romper easy to step into, stop pinning wherever you want the opening to start. My slit is eight and a half inches. Sew the pinned portion using a half inch seam allowance for all the seams, and because we're using stretch fabric, use a ballpoint needle and a zigzag stitch for all your seams and hems, which allows the stitches to stretch without breaking. To hem the slit, lay it with the wrong side facing up and move one side out of the way. Starting right at the point where the opening begins, fold the fabric over a quarter inch, then fold it over again another quarter inch and pin it down. Double fold and pin all the way up to the neckline. Sew the hem down, move that side out of the way, and repeat the process to hem the opposite side. Lay the bodice pieces with the correct sides together and pin and sew the shoulders and sides, then step into the bodice to make sure it fits how you want. My neckline looked a little too high, so I trimmed it down. Fold your two and a half inch piece of elastic into a loop and sew the edges together. With the wrong side facing up, move one side of the slit out of the way and lay the loop onto the other side so it overlaps the fabric by a half inch and sew it down. Hem the neckline by double folding the fabric a quarter inch at a time so you've sandwiched the loop inside and pin it down. Continue double folding the neckline, making sure to always open up and flatten out the seam allowances anytime you get to them on this romper. Repeat around the front of the neckline, smoothing out the fabric as you go, and finish around the opposite back side. Sew all the way around the neckline to hem it, and really take your time as you sew around the curves for the neatest results. When you're done sewing, turn the bodice right side out and place your button inside the loop to position it before moving the loop out of the way. 
Use a needle and thread with a knot at the end to sew up and down through the buttonhole several times to secure it. Knot the thread on the back and your button closure is complete. Turn the bodice inside out and double fold and sew to hem the armholes. To make a casing for the elastic to go into around the waist, fold the bottom edge over a half inch, then fold it over again another inch and pin it down. Continue double folding a half inch first and then another inch, repeating all the way around the bottom edge. When you finish pinning, sew to make the casing, leaving a couple inch gap unsewn to feed the elastic in through, and it's important to keep your stitches right along the edge I'm pointing to so you leave nearly an inch of fabric open for the casing. Don't forget to stop sewing to leave that gap, then set the bodice aside. Lay your shorts inside out with the back facing up, and fold them in half so now half of the front is visible. Smooth them out so you can see the seams running along the curved crotch, inside leg, and outside edge. Fold your fabric over and pin the shorts onto the double layer. Cut a half inch larger along the waist, crotch, inside leg, and outside edge. And although I didn't do this because my shorts were already really long, cut a couple inches longer so they don't wind up too short. When you separate the fabric, you'll have the two front pieces cut out, so lay them with the correct sides facing, pin, and sew along the crotch. Now lay the shorts with the front facing up and fold them in half so half of the back is visible. Smooth them out so you can see the seams along the edges, but because the back crotch seam is larger than the front to allow room for your backside, you may have to pull on the fabric to be able to see the whole shape. Again, fold your fabric over, pin the shorts down, and cut a half inch larger than the waist, crotch, inside leg and outside edge, and a couple inches longer, so now you'll have the two back pieces cut out. Lay them with the correct sides facing, pin, and sew along the crotch. Unfold the shorts and lay the front piece on top with correct sides facing. Match up and pin the crotch seams together, and pin along the inside edges of the legs. Sew them together, and pin and sew along both outside edges. Turn them right side out so the front is facing up, and turn the bodice inside out so the front is facing up. Slide it neck first around the shorts so the waists of both pieces line up. Match up the side seams on the bodice and shorts and pin them together, then pin the opposite side seams together. Match up the center back seams and pin them, and match up the center front seam on the shorts to the center of the front of the bodice and pin them. Pin more frequently around the rest of the waist and sew to join the pieces together. You can see here the stitches we sewed to make the casing on the bodice earlier and we'll be sewing this new seam with a half inch seam allowance, so just make sure you'll have enough room for your elastic between the two sets of stitches. When you're done sewing the pieces, wrap your elastic around your waist so it's snug but not tight, and cut it a half inch larger than the size you need. Hook a safety pin on one end to feed the elastic through the casing, being careful not to twist it. When you pull it out of the other side, unhook the pin, lay the two ends on top of each other, and sew to secure them. Pull on the waist to get the elastic completely inside the casing, separate the shorts from the bodice so they don't overlap, and sew to close up the opening. Turn the romper right side out, gather the fabric evenly around the waist, and sew a couple of straight stitches right over the elastic on both side seams to keep it from getting twisted. To get the length you want, turn it inside out and fold it in half. Cut the shorts a half inch longer than your desired length, 
and then because we just cut the back stitching off, sew over the bottom of each seam again to secure the stitches. Finally, double fold and sew to hem the shorts, and your romper is ready to wear. Thanks for watching! Could you have a louder car, sir? Or ma'am, I don't know. And get sewing. What am I doing? Ooh, I had to put my hair up. It is so hot out here. Dang, that's blurry.